what is going on and welcome back to the channel today we're doing a little bit of a different episode it's not a Hertha video specifically um it's the world cup 2022 because we're all looking forward to watching world cup 2022 aren't we everyone wants to see what happens when they go to qatar because there's been absolutely no controversy with this world cup whatsoever so we're gonna look at the teams that are in each group and we're gonna go through each individual day of match or well like the first lot of matches and see how the groups get on and then we're going to go all the way to the final so strap in yeah strap in oh, i thought i said something wrong there strap in and uh enjoy world cup 2022 so the first part of this episode like i said in the intro we're going to be looking at the groups and see who drew who and who's going to be likely to qualify from said group uh group a obviously has qatar because they're the hosts but chile turkey and the united states of america are also in the group and um, if you've been watching gray hair gaming then you'll know that he got usa to the world cup as well and he's actually been doing really quite well and um, when i'm recording this they've no, i'm not going to spoil it nope nope they're a difficult group that's all I'd say. But if you haven't watched that series, definitely do. It is very, very interesting to watch. I think Chile, Turkey and the USA are going to be duking it out for top two in their group. Qatar stand no chance whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> I haven't looked at the groups yet, so I don't know what's coming. I've just popped onto group A. Group B, Colombia, Hungary, Iran and Portugal. I think Iran are screwed in this group. Uh, Colombia, Holland and Portugal. I would say, like with Group A, I think you're probably looking at Chile, Turkey. Group B, I don't have the fix for Holland on this. So I'm going to say Holland are going to get knocked out. Portugal and Colombia. Uh, group C, Brazil, Croatia, Ghana, South Korea. This is definitely a wide open group. I could see any of these teams qualifying. That's going to be an interesting one. I do think, I've seen Brazil really struggle in the World Cups that I've seen people on YouTube doing. So I'm going to go, I'm going to still say Brazil and Croatia are going to qualify. But I think that's, that's going to be a very, very tasty group. Uh, Australia, Italy, Mexico and Poland. Group D, you'd have to say it's Italy and Mexico. I'd be surprised if there's anything else, anyone else in that group. I think Italy are probably going to go on and win it. Because I've seen, if you haven't already, Italy smashing everybody in every other World Cup. Uh, group E, <clears throat> England and Uruguay. Are going to walk this group algeria and jamaica the other two teams england have been handed quite the easy group so it's going to be like the euros all over again easy group i'm probably still going to struggle uh group f argentina czech republic germany and morocco we don't have the germany fix for in the beta because i don't want to mess with it in case there is a problem and it's caused by the fact that i have made germany and holland two countries that are you know changed um say argentina and then it's going to be potentially Czech Republic and Morocco. Germany, I'm not so sure. They're great up players, can sometimes be quite good. Don't think this time is going to be one of those times. Um, skip the group. New Zealand, Nigeria, Spain and Switzerland. You have to say Spain and Switzerland are going to walk this group. New Zealand are going to be kind of the Qatar of their group. Uh, Denmark, France, Japan and Senegal in group H, which is the final group. It is. Um... France and Denmark. I think a lot of these groups, it's the European teams that are going to smash it. I wouldn't be surprised if Japan or Senegal did well in this group as well. So, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump forward to the end of the first round of matches. So when everybody has one game, we're going to see how they're, uh, they're all getting on. So don't go anywhere. Hopefully, we'll have some interesting results. And uh, might see something interesting happen. Hopefully I'll be wrong with some of the group predictions that I have. Don't think I will though. I'm pretty, pretty clued up with old football, you know. We'd have two players actually that, at, uh, from Hertha that have gone to the World Cup. Um, our goalkeeper, Alte, is the backup goalkeeper for Turkey. And Piatek has gone with Poland. But also Lewandowski's gone with Poland. So he's not going to get huge one to game time 
um, the England team is kind of what you'd expect. Um, Henderson starting as their goalkeeper. Is there anyone in here that you wouldn't necessarily think would be going? Not really. Like, how's Mason Greenwood been getting on, actually? He turns into an absolute superstar in everyone else's saves. Not so much in my own. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is with, at the World Cup with Portugal. Uh, but he, I think he's playing as a left winger, if I'm not mistaken. No, okay, in, in one game he played as left winger. He has uh, been fine. Not exceptional, he has been fine. So the first game is about to kick off. United States play Turkey, but we will be back at the end of game day one for everybody. I'm going to see how the groups are looking then. Right, fellas, so as you can see, we're after going through the group stage. I suppose you can't see that, but we're on the 2nd of December. It's the day the group stage ends for the World Cup. But we're going to go through each day, game day, and see if there's any surprises. Um, Because I was going to do it originally. Every team that played the first day, and then every second game, and every third game. That would have taken far too long, so we're going to do it this way instead. But as you can see, right off the bat, Qatar beat Chile. Hmm. All the goals were scored within 26 minutes. That is one hell of a start to a game. Um, and Iran beating Colombia. Didn't I see that coming? Um, but USA and Turkey drawing. Kind of understand that. Portugal beating Holland. You'd expect to a degree because the Dutch team that's there isn't really the Dutch team. Because it's all grayed out players. Um, the next day, Croatia and South Korea drawing. Croatia really lucky to get that draw. Brozovic was sent off after two minutes and then scored a penalty in 95th minute. Hmm. Uh, Brazil beating Ghana. I could see that happening 5-0. I didn't expect that. Um, Poland beat Italy. And Lewandowski wasn't the one that scored the goal. Interesting. Um, Mexico beat Australia. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, Jamaica smashed by England. Reese Oxford is playing for Jamaica. Interesting. Uh, Harry Kane get himself a cheeky little brace. Algeria and Uruguay ended nil all. Uruguay probably going to be disappointed by that. Uh, Germany, great out Germany, might I add, beating Czech Republic. Not ideal for the Czechs. Um, Argentina beating Morocco. Yeah, you can kind of see that happening. I, maybe Germany have a better chance of getting through than I thought. We'll have to wait and see. Um, and then the final lot of group games for the first group, I think. Um, Spain beats Switzerland Kind of expect that New Zealand and Nigeria drawing I would have thought that Nigeria had enough to beat New Zealand But obviously not uh, Denmark beat Japan yeah, I can kind of see that And France doing business against Senegal Would not have put it as 3-0 But you know, it's fair enough So it's second lot of games Okay, we're back to what you'd expect I suppose. Um Chile beat our, our Chile beat the United States. Turkey beating Qatar. That result, it's fair enough. Um as far as I'm aware, neither of my players at the World Cup have played a game yet. That's not ideal. Um but it's it's fine. Uh, Holland beat Colombia. Did not see that coming. I did think that Colombia had enough about them to qualify. Obviously, I was wrong. Um, and Portugal beat Iran. To be expected. No goals for Ronaldo yet. Has he picked up an injury? He's 39. So maybe he's just, you know, taking it easy for the group stage. And he's going to go and do the business when they get to the knockout rounds. Assuming they get to the knockout rounds. Uh, Brazil beat South Korea. Croatia beating Ghana. Two results somewhat expected. I did think South Korea would be more involved in potentially going through but obviously i was wrong italy do cup go back to winning ways beating australia but it took an 83rd moise keen goal for them to get the win australia doing really quite well um speaking of doing really quite well poland beating mexico mexico not having a great time fortunately for them i think their dream might be over already um uruguay comfortable win over Jamaica, the 92nd minute consolation goal makes it look like they were, they were closer. 
Uh, England beating Algeria 3-2. England fans probably squeaky bum time when Algeria scored in the 75th minute. But they get the job done. I think Harry Kane must be top goal scorer at this point. Uh, Germany drawing with Morocco. Having a player sent off in the 85th minute. But Morocco scored the 27th. Germany scored in the 28th. Uh, Czech Republic snapping their, their tournament. Argentina beating them 1-0 with an 82nd minute winner. Um, and then the final lot of games for the second round. Nigeria beat Switzerland 2-1. Um, and it was just a consolation goal for Switzerland. Kanichi Iheanacho getting himself a goal. That's that's pretty good. Uh, and then Spain 5. New Zealand 0. Again, kind of expected. The majority of it was 4-0 at half time. You wouldn't. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I, I, I'd like if New Zealand did something. But I don't think they're going to. I can't imagine they're going to do well in their last game in the group. But it's, you know, this is how the World Cup goes. France beating Japan. Again, you'd expect it. And then Denmark beating Senegal. 1-0. So that is France and Denmark through. Because, I, yeah, yeah. So France and Denmark both won games. They're definitely going through. Um, and then in the final lot of group games, United States of America beat Qatar 3-2. So Qatar, unfortunately, I don't think that's enough because they only have one win. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that knocks Qatar out. Um, Michael Bradley off in the 45th minute. Um, but quite the influential player, um, Sabachu, scoring two goals for the United States for them to go through. Qatar did mount a challenge to come back, but unfortunately, it was not to be. Turkey beating Chile 2-0. Chile having a pair sent off in the 94th minute. Not ideal for them. Uh, Portugal beating Colombia. So that's Colombia's tournament over. And Iran are true, beating Holland 2-1. I think that's Colombia out, because I don't think they've even picked up a point yet, have they? I can't remember. Um, Brazil beating Croatia. I, I, I did say Brazil were going to go through, but I did think this would be a close group. Ghana beat South Korea. That's, mm. If anything, Group D has been the interesting one. Poland beating Australia and Mexico going on to beat Italy. That's not what I would have expected. Algeria did manage to beat Jamaica. So this group is actually closer than I thought it was going to be. England did smash their way to the the next the next round uh greenwood scoring a hat-trick against uruguay germany beat argentina and czech republic beat morocco so this group blown wide open uh Masipust is a player that we were actually considering signing looks like he's not had a great but i think he's already definitely he went to like hatafe or something brighton maybe was he playing for hatafe nope hatafe were a team that were in for him obviously um but yeah beating morocco didn't expect that. And then the final round of group games. Spain beat Nigeria. New Zealand beat Switzerland. This World Cup has been interesting so far to say the least. Uh, France beating Denmark. Denmark actually, to be fair, had a player sent off in the 40th minute. Scored an equaliser in the 80th. And then Kylian Mbappe scored a 92nd minute winner. Denmark will definitely be disappointed to have not gotten through or gotten a result from this game. And Senegal beating Japan. Yeah, Senegal not having the best of uh, of times, you could say. So, Group A sees Turkey and the United States of America go through. Qatar finishing third in their first ever World Cup. Chile getting knocked out. Chile, without a doubt, going to be very disappointed with themselves. Uh, Portugal and Iran. How have Iran gotten through in a group that had Holland and Colombia? Brazil and Croatia go through. Croatia... Like, had it not been for, like, Croatia are lucky. Like, that draw with South Korea could have been much worse. But they'd have Ghana, so makes sense. Um, Next, Poland top their group. Italy, Italy are out. Italy have failed to qualify for the next round of the World Cup, being knocked out by Poland and Mexico. Italy quite unfortunate only beating Australia and just never seemed like they were at the races that is mind-blowing did not expect that 
that's a turn up for the books already. Uh, England and Algeria go through. Uruguay get knocked out. <sighs> Uruguay, obviously, not good enough at this World Cup. Uh, Germany, I said they had no chance of going through. And they've topped their group. Because, of course, they have Argentina finishing second. Czech Republic and Morocco are out. Uh, group G, Spain and Nigeria are true. New Zealand... Switzerland. I did say New Zealand were going to be the whipping boys and it turns out that it's not the case <laughs> New Zealand a win and a draw drawing with Nigeria beating Switzerland they'll be proud I would be proud um, and then France and Denmark go through as was expected Senegal and Japan finishing outside the places of going into the next round so next round we have turkey playing iran so that's just going to be an exciting game regardless united states against portugal so i'm going to say turkey maybe portugal brazil i think poland are in a really good position to be croatia um argentina england it has to be england right it has to be germany play algeria i'm going to say tentatively algeria i I think maybe mm. uh, Spain Denmark uh, Spain and then France against Nigeria France are absolutely going to demolish Nigeria you've heard it here first that is what's going to happen and we are going to be back on the 6th of December four days time to show you who has gone through from those um, from those rounds because this is hotting up Italy are out that is insane Italy have finished third in their qualifying group and are no longer in the World Cup. Right, fellas. So the second round of the World Cup is now complete and we're going to have a look and see are there any insane results because we did have some quite spicy looking matches. So let's get into it and see who uh, who hasn't beaten who. So Turkey beat Iran as I expected. 3-1. Not a... Not a drubbing uh, Portugal also beating the United States okay Ronaldo still hasn't scored okay he's playing on the left wing kind of explains it but at the same time not really you still expect Cristiano Ronaldo to be scoring at least a goal but he hasn't yet um, unfortunately the United States get knocked out in the second round to be fair well done them and Iran doing quite well to get that far um, Poland and Croatia go to extra time Lewandowski scored a penalty in the 100th hundred, minute after Croatia had two players sent off in the 90, 90 plus 4 minutes and the 94th minute <clears throat> so both their players got sent off in the 94th minute just different 94 minutes interesting Mexico beat Brazil I didn't even, I didn't even see that I, Mexico are going to win this World Cup no doubt about it. Absolutely no doubt about it. Um, England go to extra time with Argentina. And Tottenham team. Oh he's not at Tottenham anymore. <clears throat> Christian Romero gets sent off. I'm assuming to give away the penalty that Harry Kane put away. And Germany are beaten by Algeria. What is going on? Germany are out of the World Cup. Argentina out of the World Cup. Mexico are going to win this World Cup. Mexico or Algeria are going to win this World Cup. Um, <clears throat> Spain. Comfortably beating Denmark. Unfortunately for Denmark. You can kind of see that being a thing though. Spain should beat Denmark relatively comfortably. And France just about beat Nigeria. Was it like a demolishing? Like they did just play some... No, they didn't play that much better than them. Nigeria did quite well. Like their, their goalkeeper played a 6.6. .6, but they played fairly well. So that is... Uh, the second round finished. Quarterfinals sees Turkey facing Poland. Portugal playing Mexico. England against France. Algeria against Spain. I think Poland have enough about them to be Turkey. I want to say Mexico beat Portugal. But I feel like I say that and Ronaldo is going to score 7 or something. Uh, England, France. Probably going to go to penalties. France will go through. Spain, Algeria. I want Algeria to win it. But uh, you have to say Spain. So we're going to be back when the quarterfinals are finished. We're going to have a quick look and see who uh, who are these 
eight teams make it to the semi-finals. It's going to be an interesting, interesting couple of games. Or four games, I suppose. Rather than a couple, a couple being two. So yeah, let's have a look in just a second and see. Is there any way we can have, like, a Poland-Mexico final? I don't think so. But I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Right, fellas. So the quarterfinals are finished. It is the quarterfinals, right? That's what it was. Yeah, it's quarterfinals. The semifinals are next. And then the final. Woohoo! We're getting out to the business end of the World Cup. Now, has there been any interesting results coming up? We'll have to wait and see. Ah, Mexico lose to Portugal. I was going to hope Mexico would make it to the final. But, alas, it was not to be. Poland do, however, knock out Turkey. So, one of my players is true to the next round. The other one isn't. The one that got knocked out is my starting goalkeeper. Unfortunately, he hasn't actually played a single minute of the World Cup and he isn't going to play any any minutes of the World Cup because Poland have done the business against Turkey. Um, Interesting, just a little tidbit of information. Piatek has only played 30 minutes so far. It's not been great. Um, Spain do quite well against Algeria and France do manage to beat England with a 94th minute penalty. I expected the game to be close. I thought it was going to go to penalties. Unfortunately, it went to a single penalty and France managed to score that penalty. So the next round of games in the semi-final is Poland versus Spain. I think Poland actually could win this World Cup. Um, Portugal against France. As you'd expect, it is an all-European semi-final. So we'll be back on the 14th of December to see how these two games went and who is going to be in the final. Is there... There's a third place play there is a third place third placed playoff. So in the semi-final, we're gonna find out who's gonna be playing for third and who is going to be playing to win the entire World Cup. So the semi-final is also finished now. Also finished. The semi-final has come to an end. We have found out who is playing in the third place playoff and who is going to be in the World Cup final. So let's have a look and see how the first game was Poland, Spain. Spain are out. Spain are not going to be playing in the World Cup final. It is going to be Poland. I jokingly said Poland, Mexico final. Poland are actually in the final. Extra time. Milik with a brace. Lewandowski with the winner. To be fair, Spain quite lucky to make it to extra time as it was by the looks of it 92nd minute equaliser Lewandowski 117th minute penalty right at the death three minutes left Poland take the win and Portugal France was the other one Portugal beat France on penalties so I was around too early yeah around too early for the penalties um, Mannion played quite well we know for a fact on this channel that he is not a very good goalkeeper or I have found he's not N'Golo Kante picked up a knock okay Kante started I was going to say if Kante came off the bench and then went off injured that would be less than ideal Cristiano Ronaldo played a 6.3 and didn't take a penalty I'm guessing he was taken off how old is Cristiano Ronaldo in this world 30 37 200 appearances for Portugal now though couldn't score a goal to put him through. Um, did a striker come off the bench? Yo Felix. Okay, yeah. So they took Ronaldo off and brought Yo Felix on. Uh, Neves scored a penalty. Vertut scored a penalty. Vertol. Uh, Yo Felix got a penalty. He scored one. Ben Yedder missed one, having scored a penalty in the last round to get them through. Guerrero scored. Pogba scored. Guedes scored. Tovinen getting a goal. And Rafa. Scoring the one that won it. Thauvinen is still playing in Mexico with Tigres. Interesting. So it's going to be Poland, Portugal in the final. France against Spain in the third place playoff. And we're obviously going to be attending the World Cup final with Poland playing against Portugal. Um, but France play Spain in the third place playoff. I am going to say France. 
get third place. And it has we have to like it has to be Poland that win the World Cup now. But this is poetry in motion. Poland are going to win the World Cup. So we're gonna be back for the final. I'm gonna let you know how the third place playoff goes as well. We're gonna watch the Poland Portugal game and hopefully it'll be a spicy, spicy game. Right, fellas. So as you can see, third place playoff went to Spain. They're the third best team in the world. And France will probably be a little bit annoyed that a French player scored the second goal for Spain. Merrick Laporte gets the defining goal. So that is the third place playoff finished. But we are about to take to the World Cup final. We're going to watch Poland play Portugal. So it should be an interesting game. I guess we actually have to hit the kickoff button. So we're going to have a look to see the... Okay, we're not getting the lineups. Okay, that's fine. Right, fellas. So I have paused it at the start so we can have a look at the starting 11 for both teams. Um, and as you can imagine, Portuguese side looks pretty strong. Uh, Patricio in goal, Semedo, Pepe, Diaz and Mendes at, as their back four. Neves as a defensive midfielder. I find that interesting that they've gone for a DM when Poland are going with an attack midfielder. So maybe they're trying to play to stop Poland from doing much. Uh, Mateus Nunes and Bruno Fernandes in centre midfield. Silva, Ronaldo and Felix as the front three. That's a front three I would not like to play against. Cristiano Ronaldo, as we know, hasn't done a huge amount. But imagine he's going to jump in and absolutely smash it in the final. But Poland have Szczesny in goal. Berenewski, uh, Bednarek, um, Volunovski, Volunovic, um, Karvnik, no, Karbovnik as their back four with Kalachik and Klik in central midfield. Um, Szymanski, Zielinski, Kaminski, yeah, Kaminski, uh, behind Lewandowski up front. Um, our man Piatek sitting on the bench. The Poland side only have one player that's really tired on the bench. Kaminski is pretty much dead already. Uh, Portugal looks like they haven't rotated too much coming into this game. Uh, because Guerrero, uh, Inacio and Cancelo are all quite tired. But we're going to play. And Portugal have had the first shot. I just want to make sure that we are on key highlights. We are. Portugal have the first highlight so far. Uh, Pepe, who must be 39, pushing 40 now, still play. Oh, Bruno Fernandes, what an absolute screamer. Three minutes into the World Cup final, Bruno Fernandes scores an absolute peach of a goal. That was uh, that was quite nice. Mendes, with the assist, Bruno Fernandes just wallops it into the back of the net. Um, I'm curious, how old is Pepe now? Pepe is 39 almost 40 and he's still playing for Portugal he's made it to a World Cup final Portuguese side a little bit on the old the old side of uh, of things I don't want the league table why is it changed to the league table I want Poland stats alright so not much has happened since the opening goal but nothing worth looking at anyway Kaminski is going to have to come off at half time he is Dying. They've moved up over to the right wing. Portugal have another highlight. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's interesting that he's playing. So. I would say. Oh. Bernardo Silva. Nice move by Portugal indeed. Um, they're saying that it's. Uh, Valcevic. Who is at fault for this. Is he. No it's click. Alright let's see. He didn't miss the header. He didn't attempt to get the header. That's uh And he still got a six point seven. So I, I I don't know. Uh Poland only one shot on target so far. To be fair, Portugal have two goals with a zero point three seven XG and they have taken Kaminsky off. As I was expecting, I think you'd surely they'll go Two up top at some point. 
Um, oh, that highlight started quickly. Portugal have made a change as well, bringing Rafa on, who, if I'm not mistaken, has scored a couple of goals so far. Um, and Poland looking to build from the back. Berenewski just doing stepovers for fun. And what an absolute belter by the substitute who came on. Um, Jozviak. With the, the absolute gorgeous cross. Rio Patricio misses and Semedo combine to miss the uh, the cross. I think they've just taken Zielinski off by the looks of it. But Poland are coming back into this game. Click finds sort of gets the ball across. Lewandowski. Ooh. Ruben Diaz with the um, yeah they're taking Zielinski off and put Rebus over. Yeah, they did take off Bernardo Silva and bring Rafa on. Um, Click has come off. Bruno Fernandes has come off for Gedson. And Ruben Diaz has come off for Diego Lieto. Or Liet. And it looks like Portugal are going to win the World Cup. Portugal indeed have won the World Cup. And Cristiano Ronaldo is going to get to lift the World Cup in Qatar. Still think it uh, would have been nice if... Or maybe he was... No, he's still there. Okay, I was going to say. Had he been taken off? But no. He's not being... He's not the one lifting the trophy, though. I would have assumed, because he's wearing the captain's armband, that he would have been the one to lift the trophy. Instead, they let... Was it number 21? Um, Yeah, 21. Who was number 21? <clears throat> so okay, we had to jump forward. I don't want I don't want it to spoil anything because we're doing plays spotted at the stadium. Um, essentially, saying that we're watching the entire Poland team and Gitson Fernandez. So let's have a quick look and see who was wearing the twenty-one jersey. Was it twenty-one? Oh, Gedson Fernandez. Why was that's interesting? Very interesting. Hmm. Anyway, Portugal won the World Cup. That's quite disappointing. Um, I was really hoping that Poland would do it and be a shock, a shock World Cup winner. But that has not happened. Instead, Portugal do get it done. Um, Harry Kane ends with the most goals and player of the match and the highest average rating. Harry Kane had a decent work up. Um, Auer and Szymanski with the most assists. Unai Simon, six clean sheets. Unai Simon, pretty good goalkeeper, has to be said. Yellow cards, just lots of players with three yellow cards. So that is the World Cup done and dusted. Portugal have won it. Um, Biggest surprise probably was Italy getting knocked out in the group stage. Poland also making it to the final. That's a big, big surprise. So yeah, leave me know in the comments down below what you think was the biggest surprise of this World Cup. Um, I'm putting it as Italy getting knocked out in the groups or Poland making it to the finals. Even though Lewandowski didn't really do a huge amount. Is that fair to say? Didn't, didn't really get too many goals. And Cristiano Ronaldo not scoring a goal. Probably. Yeah, like Lewandowski scored four in seven. Harry Kane got five in three. Enes Unal played three, started three games, won as, won as a sub, came on as a substitute and scored four. Raul Jimenez scored a hat trick in one game. Hmm. He still managed to get third. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I think you have to say Poland making it to the final, Italy getting knocked out in the groups, definitely, definitely a surprise. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this episode, do make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with all of your friends. Let me know in the comments, like I said, biggest surprise for you. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.